What's up YouTube, this is Groudon Empire and I am back for another episode of my Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Raiding Battle Spot Single Laddering Series. And today's, right now's video is going to be my Mega, my, my, uh, Mega Galley Team Part 3. If you are interested in Mega Galley Team, uh, overall, then definitely don't forget to check out Part 1 and Part 2. Especially Part 1, because Part 1 has a team summary and also it has an amazing battle. And if you're interested in other uh, Raiding Battle Spot single content, competitive content, not just casual content, then definitely subscribe to the channel and check out my playlist and all that stuff, especially for the future. In the future, I'm going to have a lot more serious uh, laddering content because I'm going to try to hit 2,000 plus because I never hit that far and I really want to strive for that. And if you're interested in other Megas, definitely check out the playlist and uh, also... In the future, I'm going to be doing some Megas as well, so definitely check that out and subscribe if you have to make sure you don't forget this channel. Now, without anything else, I'm just going to continue with the challenges because we have to do three games in this video. Right now, my rating is at 1644. Last video, we had two battles. Uh, in my three videos, I have a minimum of six games overall, and I need to have... All right, so we found our opponent, 1688... And let's destroy our opponent because I do not like losing. I want Stealth Rock because there's a Mammoth Swine, there's a there's a Dragonite, there's a Talonflame. Okay, I want Stealth Rock. No way in hell I'm not running Stealth Rock. Gallade puts in work. It puts in a lot of work, actually, um, versus the likes of... Okay, you know what? It doesn't put in work. Never mind that. It does not put in work. Zapdos puts in work versus the Talonflame. It puts in work versus the Dragonite and the Lucario. Now, Mammoth Swine, however, is a serious, serious issue. And what am I going to do about that? You see, that's what I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I can run Porygon too. But then... You know what? I can seriously, I can actually run Porygon too. You know what? Alright, so Gartom, Zapdos, and Porygon too. This is going to be a really, really bulky uh, team. And I hope you guys do not... <laughs> Do not get super upset over this bulky team that I'm going to be using. So Garchomp, Zapdos, and Porygon 2. We'll see what's going to happen. I'm very confident that I'm going to end up winning this. Very, very confident. Super confident. Even though we uh, I'm not going to tell you guys what happened. Definitely check out Part 2. And don't forget to check out Part 1. Because so far, I don't think Part 1 can be topped. For... Uh, my battle so far, the first battle that I had with this Mega Galley team that I was recording. But yeah, a long time, like during part one and part two or whatever, I was talking about my team building uh, with Galley, and I just never talked more about that because I'm busy talking about the game that I'm playing, right? The battle. So I'll just talk up more about that. So Mega Galley, I had a team that had five Pokemon, and I had a serious fairy weakness. Even if I had Magnezone, I was weak to ground, I was weak to like. Sacred Sword and Fire Blast and stuff, Focus Blast, so I was like, I need a new Pokemon to deal with Sylveons, to deal with uh, that entire Aegis Slash Hydreigon stuff, and Gardevoir, and I was like, hey, oh, Vol Volcarona is awesome, and also for Swampert Leeds, and I was like, Giga Drain, Volcarona with Quiver Dance, it's amazing, bulky set, it's amazing versus those fairies, the steels, and it's just, I love it, I love it so much. Uh, right now, turn one, I'm going to use Rock, Rock Tomb. I don't know what's gonna happen, and I just want to make sure I do something good with myself. I'm gonna use Rock Tomb, no matter what comes in, and I'm just gonna use Stealth Rock next turn, and hopefully good things happen. He's gonna use Will O Wisp. Yes, indeed he is. Indeed he is going to use Will O Wisp, and Rock Tomb still gonna do a crap ton of damage because Rock Tomb is four times effective, and it does. That does 120 times. That's 240, and Earthquake is gonna do a lot more damage. So what I can do right now is I can just Earthquake again and again. I am not afraid. He's going to roost up on me, of course, because that's the best thing to do. And if he does switch out, guess what I can do? I can use Stealth Rock. So I'm just going to keep on using Earthquake until I have, like, uh, I don't know, like 80 health or something. I don't know, 90 health. You got a crit? You got a crit. All right, so you can't stall me. Because I got a crit. Uh, the fact that the crit did that much damage 
this goes to show you I would have ended up beating the Talonflame 1v1 if I kept on Earthquaking because how the hell would it do that much damage and I wouldn't kill it after like six turns of Roost, uh, Roost stalling me so yeah and uh, after that many turns if he uses a Brave Bird he's gonna die to Ruskin plus Recoil anyway so uh, I don't think that crit really mattered but it did make things faster so I really love the fact that it made it faster I love it a lot because I have no doubts I would have destroyed that Talonflame anyway I do have a bird in the back and a Porygon too. Like, what's it going to do to me? And right now, I think I am just going to use Earthquake. Do I want to use Earthquake? I'm going to use Earthquake. Because he's probably going to use Nasty Plot. He's not going to survive, though. So he has to do something smart. Okay, I see what he's doing. I see what he's doing. I see what he's doing. All right. Okay, I see you. Well, I'm just going to go and use Outrage because I need damage off on anything. And I just hope you're not weakness policy because if you are, well, I'm going to cry. I should actually just use Rock Tomb, but it's whatever. We make these mistakes. I Oh my, wow. Wow. That is not an excuse. That is not. That is absolutely not an excuse. Whatever. I hope you're not weakness policy. That's all I hope. Okay, you're not weak this policy. Awesome. And you're going to use Earthquake on me twice. And I'm going to die. Or maybe once. That's all you need to do. And uh, that's a winner. We got a winner up in this house. And I'm going to bring in Porygon too. And I'm just going to use Thunder Wave. Because I need to preserve my Zapdos. I'm going to preserve my Zap. Oh, I have multi skill. I have multi-scale and I can recover like no tomorrow. That is absolutely wow. Wow. I'm a thunder wave because I can. You think Lucario is going to resist? Okay, never mind. Never, never, never mind. Never mind. Never mind anything. That did nothing. Lumberry, let's see it. Come on, I know you have it. No? Are you, what are you, Bandit? Scarf? You're not Scarf. Bandit, probably. Well, I'm just going to use Recover until you get parried because I know that's what you're... I know that's what's going to happen. You know? I mean, I'm not going to... Man, screw this. I'm just going to use Foul Play and Recover because I can. What the hell am I even doing here? I'm just going to use Foul Play. <laughs> I am not going to recover. Like, uh, like again, Luke, uh, Zapdos is a counter to non-setup and if it's set up okay what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna recover because it's fine Zapdos is a counter to non-setup Lucario and set up Lucario it can still be a counter at full health alright so it's a counter it's also good as a check so what does that tell you guys I mean that tells me it's awesome right I'm gonna use foul play right now destroy this thing so Zapdos is completely perfect for Lucario. I don't have to worry about, wow, he didn't die. Well, whatever. Right now he's going to die, right? So it's, it's, it's fine. I mean, what if he gets a third? I'm not going to play with the hacks. I'm just going to use foul play. Who cares? I do have a Zapdos in the back. So what the hell am I doing? I mean, it's, it's Thunder Wave. I can use Hidden Power Ice on it. And then to the Lucario, I can use, hidden, I can use Heat Wave. But see, the problem is Lucario can destroy me if, if I miss the Heat Wave. So I need to get the Thunder Wave off. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna lie right now. If he uses substitute, I might die. So no, no, who cares? I can use Thunderbolt twice. I'm gonna use Thunder Wave right now, and I have a Zapdos in the back. He probably thinks he's gonna win. He's not gonna win. I have a Zapdos in the back. You stand no chance unless you set up Ice Punch. But even if you uh, set up Swords Dance and you have Ice Punch, you're physical. But that doesn't matter either. I do have Foul Play, and then next turn I can come in and I can do all sorts of nice things. Right, so I'm just going to use Foul Play, do as much damage as possible. I'm not going to bother recovering up until multi-scale because that's just pathetic in my opinion. You have to use close combat and I'm just going to kill you with... Never mind, I'm just going to two-hit... Yeah, I'm going to two-hit KO you, so... Thunder Wave Foul Play is all you need versus uh, physical threats with Porygon 2. And if I had my, my uh, Zapdos in the back, well, 
I mean, I can deal with Lucario any day of the week as long as it doesn't have some crazy moves. And my health isn't low. If I have full health, I'm a counter. So, sorry, Lucario. Sorry. I think you're a sick Pokemon, sick everything. Well, I don't really like your normal design, but I freaking love your mega design. But and your def and your like comp you competitively. But hey, there's only so much. There's only so much I can do if you're my opponent. So that was a good game right there, and we're gonna do another battle. This Galley team so far. The reason it's doing so much better than the Mega Slowbro team is because I spent a lot more time testing. Oh, uh, by the way, um, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, the. Oh, wow, uh, is that like spoilers? <laughs> Anyways, because I did a lot more testing, and I had to because I didn't have like a perfectly 5-6 Pokemon on the Galia team. And the Slowbro team, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, what happened with that one. But, I mean, that one's a good team. That one's a good team, I think. I, I definitely think it's a good team. This is a good team, too, because I tested it and I... whatever. And I'm doing well here. Volcarona likes a lot of these Pokemon. It can set up on the Ferrothorn. It can set up... well... It can kill the Mawile, forget about setting up. <laughs> it can uh, kill the Feral Thorn. I like that a lot. I like that in a Pokemon. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And Greninja doesn't run Hydro Pump anymore, so is that a threat? It's not a threat in my opinion. But I do want rocks because I hate Talonflame and that Guard Chomp is a problem. And how do I deal with those Pokemon? I have a Zapdos. Now, Gallade can be used. Alright, for the Porygon 2, for the Garchomp, for the Ferrothorn. This is a Gallade team after all, but I've used Gallade enough. And plus, I just want to focus on winning, and I feel like I need Volcarona to win, so... I'm going to use Volcarona. Screw it, he doesn't have rocks. Well, uh, no, 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 he has two potential rocks. Uh, is it worth it? In my opinion, it is not worth it. It is not worth it. Zapdos is nice for Talonflame, Talonflame, Mawile, Garchomp, Ferrothorn, but like, what am I going to do versus Greninja? That's what I need Volcarona for. Because I'm, like, I'm afraid if that Porygon 2 paralyzes Galley, then Mawile is going to destroy me, and if he's Trick Room, well... This is why I want to run Volcarona instead of Gallade. Mm. I'm just gonna run. What? No, 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 no! I don't want you. I want Porygon two. Wait, who got sent? Yeah, I made up my mind at the end to pick Porygon two instead, instead of, instead of the uh, um. Volcarona because Porygon 2 with the bulk can actually deal with my opponent's Pokemon regardless of what happens. Like I can Toxic the opposing Porygon 2 and I can also deal with the Mawile and Thunder Wave and do good things. I want to start off with the Rock Tomb. I want to see first who my last Pokemon was picked. It was a Porygon 2. Alright, that's nice. I think I picked it myself. I don't know. Whatever, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off with the Rock Tomb. I don't know what my opponent's gonna do, but I'm just gonna use Rock Tomb. And he missed a, he missed a Will O Wisp, and I landed my Rock Tomb, so that's great. It's an 80% accuracy. Whoa! Wow, that was awesome. That was something else utterly and completely. I'm just gonna use Outrage because why the hell not? I don't see why not. I really don't. I mean, truth be told, there's a Mawile, so that's a problem. But who cares if there's a Mawile? I mean, I can Outrage. You know how much damage Outrage does? Ooh, it's a Rocky Helmet variant. All right. Uh, well, he's dead. I mean, you know, he can switch out into Mawile, actually, and do good things from there. Granted, I don't get hit myself with confusion... No, wait, yeah, yeah. Granted, I don't hit myself with confusion, but, uh, I mean, yeah, he probably, yeah, he's gonna go into the Mawile, because that's his only Mega, right? So he has to go into the Mawile now. What? Alright, that works too. I'm gonna take rough skin damage, alright. And I need to put my charger inside of my, uh, system. Otherwise, my system's gonna destroy, die, uh, die, not destroy. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I love that word, destroy. I don't know why. I don't know. 
I really don't know why. I don't know. Anyways, what's happening? The good thing I have a capture card. I can put in the charger and not even look at the screen because the screen is on the... Whoa! That did a lot of damage. Why is it doing so much damage? I, mean, I guess that's two hits. No, seriously. Why is that doing so much damage? That is insanity. Good thing my sash broke. Now I'm going to die right away. Even though I don't think that's something to uh, be happy about. But, I mean, it's all good. I'm going to toxic this Porygon too now because I need to. I just need to. I absolutely need to. So I'm going to toxic it. I have rough skin. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Florges. And right now I am just going to use toxic. I wonder if you have toxic. You have ice beam. You have foul play. Probably thunder wave. I don't know. I don't know. But I want to use toxic. That's great. That's awesome. That's, that's phenomenal. We are doing fine on this day today. And what I'm going to do next turn is I'm just going to use another Toxic because what's wrong with double Toxics? I sure as hell don't see anything wrong with that. I just hope the last Pokemon my opponent has is something that I can actually use Zapdos for and I don't wish I had Gallade for. <laughs> Pretty sure it will. Oh no. If there's a Greninja in the back, what am I going to do? I need Porygon 2 for that. I need Porygon 2 for that. He's going to try to freeze me. I commend you for that. I really, really do. But, uh. I don't think that's cool, man. I don't think that's cool at all. Not at all. Well. I'm just going to use Foul Play, even though you have the rough skin. And I hope you don't freeze me, because freezes are for chumps. He's going to freeze me. I'm telling you guys right now, he is definitely going to freeze me. That did nothing. <laughs> Whatever, I'm just going to recover now, because I don't, I don't have a reason not to. I mean... My opponent is like... Why is he doing that? I don't even get that. Like, what for? <laughs> He's going to roost up. I'm just going to use foul play because I have his attacking stat. Alright. Good thing I didn't use thunder wave or toxic that turn. <laughs> So yeah, I, I just wanted to attack this thing, kill it off. I mean, I don't really need... That That crit really doesn't matter. So that's good. That's awesome. Yeah, I didn't need rock, so that's nice. Uh, that will was first turn, definitely. Because, like, this is not... This is a Rocky Helmet variant, right? So I can assure you that definitely did matter to some degree. But, I mean, I can just toxic... Oh! Well... I'm fine here. I'm gonna go out into my Zapdos, man. What are you gonna do to me? Plus two sword stance or something? Like, oh crap, I didn't use it. I didn't, oh man, rocks. I don't have rocks up. It's fine though, because you can't do crap to me even after plus two. Like, you can't. Unless you have stone edge? If you have stone edge, I should have used foul play. Oh my wow. Wow, I want to die. <laughs> uh, I'm going to die. No. Eh, it's fine. He missed the rock tomb. Well, tough luck for you, man. I, mean, I think I still could have won with Porygon 2, and what the heck? I cannot record anymore for today. Oh, wow. I have to, I'm, I'm going to do one more game after this, but I am not recording anymore because, man, I am losing my voice here. Okay, so that will o -Wisp miss in the beginning, that did something. But, I mean, I could have gone into this thing later on and ended up doing well. I could have toxic all the Porygon 2 as I was doing the entirety of the time already. And right now is no different. I'm just going to keep on Thunderbolting because I can. I don't have a reason not to. Forfeited, that's nice, that's cool. We're going to look for one more game to make it a sixth game. But yeah, that will o -Wisp miss in the beginning was rough. And that was just, I mean, a rock tomb, then an earthquake, then... Uh, 
I don't even remember what's happening. Like, oh yeah, did I get a did I get a crit? I mean, I don't I don't remember anything honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna continue battling. I mean, I could have went into uh, Zapdos. I honestly speaking, I could have won this game regardless of all like the Rock Two missing, right? Like, I could have still won, you know, depending on like if I use that. Like, if I'm gonna look for one more game. Uh, if that was four, five, six. All right. So, if my opponent landed the Willowis on my Garchomp, I would have done something so that eventually I would have ended up beating it and winning versus it, right? And to the extent, at least, I would have went into Zapdos, and because of the rocks, now I can destroy it, 1v1 it, and force it to end up killing itself by switching out in a time it can't, or I would par paralyze and destroy it. I typically always win versus Talonflame between Garchomp, Rocks, and Zapdos. And then I would Toxic Stall the Porygon too, that would be nice. And then I can always get a foul play off, a powerful, powerful foul play off on the Garchomp with the Porygon 2. And Porygon 2 does the, eats up a plus 2 outrage anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then I can recover stall and this toxic stall that Porygon too. So honestly speaking, without all the hacks, I still feel like I could have won for sure. Anyway, my opponent is using a Wobbuffet, uh, not Greninja, Gengar and Breloom team. This is very, this, this is disgusting. Wow. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do to this. I really, I don't know. I'm going to have to use Garchomp. Because I need to break that Breloom Sash. And then I'm going to need to have myself a Volcarona. But then that... that that, that oh, Wow, this is bad. This is really bad. Volcarona. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Right. Uh, yeah. Um, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm going to start off... If I start off with Galley, then I need to have Porygon 2 with me. I need to Thunder Wave things after that and see what I can do. Uh, it's not the end of the world, I guess. I mean, actually, I think it is, but... You know what? I think starting off with Porygon 2 is my best move. And No, no, no. Starting off with the Galley is my best move, and... No, no, no. If he starts off with the Wobbuffet, then what? Shoot. Okay, I have to start off with the Volcarona. Oh my goodness! You know what? I'm gonna start off with Gar I'm gonna start off with Garchomp. I'm gonna have Volcarona. My last Pokemon is going to be Talonflame, and I feel like this is the only way I'm going to win. <sighs> that team, like, I talk too long. In team summary, I talk too long. I talk about the last game for way too long. I should stop that. I should just focus on the team. But it's fine. I'm sure. I'm sure you guys enjoyed this Mega Galley team. You found it really nice. That it's you know it's competitive. It's actually it's actually it's being competitive, you know, it's doing what a competitive team ought to do. So I'm, I hope you guys enjoy it and that you guys learn from it and that you guys appreciate it. And my opponent has, I don't know what my opponent's going to do, but I'm just going to set up, I'm, I'm going to go for a rock tomb right now because I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I am so afraid of a, of a Gengar or something, I don't know, Wobbuffet, this is a Wobbuffet, I know the Katakana or whatever, whatever the hell you call that thing. I know what you call it. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you call it, but. Whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyway, I'm just going to go for an Outrage because I feel like that's my best move right now. I did bring Talonflame exactly for that... What was that called? That Blaziken. So that's nice. That's absolutely phenomenal that I did that. Hope my hope my opponent... Well, I don't care what my opponent does, to be honest. He's gonna he's gonna destiny bond and that's cool. That really is. If I get confused, I don't even mind at all. No no, he's gonna use counter and destroy me right now, actually. Never mind. Never mind. Not gonna use Encore? No I don't know. Oh, whatever. I'm not I ain't judging. I ain't judging. He's gonna plan on destroying my Garchomp. But yeah, I'm not even, I'm not using Gallade for this last game, but I used Gallade for enough games, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, all the games that I ended up actually using it for. I would have died if I did not have my sash wowies and he got rough skin damage shout outs to rough skin and I kill it screw destiny bond outrage I want to kill this Wobbuffet and destiny bond doesn't even matter and because it brought me down to because it used counter yeah it doesn't matter awesome I win this all right awesome incredible well I don't know about winning the game but I mean I beat the Wobbuffet is what I mean all right that to get things clear here, I, I beat the Wobbuffet is what I'm trying to say. Right? That's what I'm trying to say. 
If he does go into Blaziken, I do predict a like earthquake or something along those lines. This is not this is a Blaziken. Yeah, this is a Blaziken. Not an earthquake, man, a protect. So what I'm gonna do is actually I'm just gonna go for a stealth rock. He might use Swords Dance. If he does, uh, I'm dead. Unless he's not sashed. Okay, alright, so I win. I okay, well not not win the game, but like I, I'm doing well here is what I'm trying to say. Uh I have a I have a talent flame in the back. Wait, did I bring talent? Did I, did, did I bring Talonflame? D did I bring Talonflame? Tell me I brought Talonflame. Please tell me I brought Talonflame. Okay, I brought Talonflame. Alright, I, I was about to say. Wow, okay, alright. Whew, I was, I was afraid over there. And I'm just going to go for a Swords Dance right now, predicting a switch out into something. I'm going to use Swords Dance right now. And why did my opponent go for a Protect? I don't get that. I really don't. Like, you're going to get, like, whatever. Whatever. I'm going to go for a Brave Bird, and then if he goes out into Tyranitar, I'm just going to U-turn. A plus two U-turn will do massive damage. Tyranitar. I know how Tyranitar looks. I know, I know how Tyranitar looks. Brave Bird isn't going to do a thing. Actually, does a respectable amount. That actually does a respectable amount. I think I'm going to be in U-turn range to kill it off later. And I win the game unless he has a Rocky Helmet and he sets up Stealth Rock and the Sandstorm remains after I... After I come back, that plus two U-turn destroyed that Tyranid. Oh, oh no! If he uses Stealth Rock, if he uses Stealth Rock, I'm doomed. But I know I'm faster than Tyranitar right now, so I don't have to actually worry about anything. Like, I can legit just use Bug Buzz, and I'm in great shape. Because I don't, yeah, Flare Blitz shouldn't one hit Kaomi at this range either. So I'm actually in great shape. Uh, I have to go for like a Giga Drainer. No, I don't. I'm going to go for a Bug Buzz. That's my, be my best move. My opponent also went for their best move. So that was nice. That was nice to see on their part. And I think I win this as long as the Sandstorm doesn't act stupid. He's going to probably use Flare Blitz or something. I don't know, but he resists fighting? No. Uh, does fighting resist bug? Yes, it does. I'm just going to use Fury Dance because I can. He's going to use Flare Blitz. That's a good move on my opponent's part. And he got all that recoil. And I'm going to use a Fury Dance. He's going to get Sandstorm. He's going to get all these other things. Doesn't matter I got my special attack buff, but... Okay, I think I can actually end up winning this game. As long as the Sandstorm leaves, I win this game because Talonflame is going to Brave Bird, it's going to live on the recoil, and there's not going to be a Sandstorm, so I can actually... Alright, so I think I'm in good shape to win the game. Uh, my opponent is probably, hopefully, going to die to, to recoil, plus the Sandstorm. If... Uh, if my opponent with the Tyranitar used Stone Edge and killed off my Volcarona? Okay, alright. So I see how things are right now. And... I don't know what I'm going to do. I really, really don't know what I ought to do. You know, if I use... Okay, so if I use Brave Bird... Okay, his best move is to go out into Tyranitar, all right, right now, and let the sand come up. And then the turn after that, 
his best move is going to be to protect stall me with the sand up. So I'm just going to U-turn right now because it's my best move. It's my best move. It really is. He's going to win. He's going to beat me because of protect. So that is very, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate. It really, really is. But it can't be helped. It really can't. It really, really can't be helped. No, 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 guys, I win. That did nine damage. Sandstorm did nine damage. He can protect stall me this turn. It's going to do nine damage, and then as long as he doesn't get a double protect, I can Brave Bird next turn, and I win. All right, so I'm going to Brave Bird, and he's going to protect stall me. All right, he's going he's gonna to think I'm going to die to the Sandstorm, but I'm going to live on two HP, and this guy's is exactly, like, Blaziken, like, tears up my team. But with, and I live on two, and forget about that, my opponent, okay, my opponent, all right, okay, all right. But I mean, I have, I have priority, unless my opponent is running quick attack. <laughs> unless, unless my opponent is running quick attack, they get the double protect. They get the double protect. Who's going to die first to Sandstorm? My opponent dies first to Sandstorm, and because they are faster... Okay, so what what happens here? Do I lose or do I win? I think I win because my opponent... I win because my opponent fainted first. Wow, that is actually strange. Wow, that is fan... Wow. Um, I don't agree with that win, the way Nintendo did it. Uh, I feel like... I feel like Nintendo like should have thought about who uh, made the weather active and whoever did that. But I guess it also is sort of... Eh, it's whatever. Leave your opinions on what you think about it. Okay, th these are my opinions. My opinion on this is that while it is nice because the weather setter, if the weather setter was faster and they end up losing the game because of the weather, it's their fault. It's like self-KO claws or something, right? Even though they killed me. It's like explosion. But if, uh, if it's just solely based on the fact that my opponent is just faster than me. I feel like that's not fair. Even though my opponent fainted uh, first, I feel like it should be that the opponent, the person who set the weather, if they die to the weather, they should lose. That's what I feel. And that's what happened to my opponent, but I don't know, I don't think that's the actual rule. I think that should be the rule. That should actually be the thing. And if you set up the, and if you die to weather both and, uh, uh, like I think the actual rule that they have is whoever's faster all right so he was faster at that time because of speed boost and he died he fainted and I ended up winning and that just goes to show you speed boost can, and plus Tyranitar it can really cause you trouble and it also goes to show you why Talonflame is so important Blaziken would destroy me otherwise and I need a Talonflame with that and it also goes to show you why I have U-turn and how it's effective on my moveset and that I can actually use U-turn because I don't need Roost Roost would not benefit me but U-turn won me the game and the health EVs that I had also did really good for me and uh, that's just an awesome game that we just had there I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please remember to click that like button, uh, share this video, leave a rating, subscribe to the channel, especially if you are hyped for Megalopony, Mega Altaria, and a few of the XY Megas that I'm going to vi uh, revisit in this thing, and also for my future super serious laddering content where I try to actually reach 2,000 plus, hopefully, hopefully, eventually, one time during the year, hopefully. And also VGC content and whatever other suggestions that you want to see in terms of competitive Wi-Fi battles for me, let me know in the comment section. This is Groudon Empire. Peace out.